All right, first of all, how many people do you know that have the same first name as you? Ah, uh, none. There's just not many around, I guess. My parents like to think I was the original, but I guess, yeah, I don't know. They don't really know, but they think it is, so. So, why do they, were they Bruins fans, Celtics fans? Why do they name you Boston? Yeah, my dad's a pretty big Bruins fan. Him and my uncle, both like the Red Sox and the Bruins, so that's, that's where they got it from. Do you get people who tell you that you should be a Bruins fan because of your first name? Well, I don't really have a choice. Like, everyone everyone says I was a bandwagon jumper last year in the playoffs, but I was like, when you look back at all your, your childhood memories and you look back at pictures when you are a baby and you're dressed as a Red Sox or a Bruin, then you don't really have a choice, so. <laughs> So you are actually a Bruins fan? Oh, yeah, big time, yeah. So it was a good year for you last year then? Yeah, for sure. <laughs> okay, uh, what is your age and when's your birthday? Uh, I'm 18 years old. I'm born July 9th, 1993. And the number you wear is? 20. There's significance to that or is it just kind of like, hey, that's the number I got? So. Oh, it's, they kind of gave me the 20. I've always worn either 11 or 22 and then uh, it's kind of handy actually. My uncle my uncle played for the Blades, he wore 20. And then my little cousin plays for uh, Portland, he wears 22. So it's kind of worked out that way, I guess. Are you fairly competitive uh, with your cousin, I guess, when you end up playing Portland? For sure. Um, even on the outdoor rink, like I remember in Christmas, when was it? Two or three years ago, maybe th three years ago probably, he, uh, we were out on the outdoor rink, I think it was Christmas Eve, and he broke my nose with his stick accidentally, but it gets pretty heated. We always try and, it's a couple fights and... Uh, accidentally, right? Yeah, accidentally, but <laughs> I don't know. It was pretty, it was, it was funny. Have you scrapped him in junior? No, I haven't. My, uh, my auntie, my mom told me if I do, they'd be, they wouldn't be very impressed, so I thought I better not. <laughs> what hand do you shoot, and what's your natural position? Uh, left, and probably left wing is what I played growing up. Played center. Play right wing now, so I don't know, I guess any of them. All over the place. Okay, how many years with the team? Uh, this is my second. Uh, what do your parents do? Uh, my dad is an entrepreneur. He owns a couple of grocery stores, a couple other, like, he owns a furniture store. My mom's a customer service rep. I have a sister. She's 20 now. She goes to a vest, play soccer there. Yeah, nice. Um, so you grew up in Saskatoon. Uh, any hidden talents at all? Baseball. Pretty decent baseball player, I guess. Yeah. I, uh, I just quit. When was it? Uh, played AAA in Midget, and then... Played a couple couple years in Team Sask, and then I just kind of slowly slowly kind of shut her down. Played Double A just for fun. Went and played with my buddies for a year, and then after that, I didn't I didn't play last year, so kind of missed it. But it, hockey kind of took over. Decided that uh, major leagues wasn't in your sight. It was more NHL trying after well, that. Well, I don't know how many people from Saskatoon get drafted to the MLB, so I thought I'd go with the <laughs> NHL more like it. Okay, pregame routine. Do you have anything that uh, are you one of the superstitious guys? I know there's a few that are, a few that aren't. Not really. I usually just do the same stretches, same kind of thing. Me and Emerson throw the pucks before the game, try and throw them on the face-off dots. Um, other than that, not much. Any song that gets you jacked up at all? You, what genre of music are you into? Uh, before the game, it's country and rock. That's usually what I listen to. Not the softer country. It's got to be something more fast-paced. But, uh, yeah, it's, I usually listen to that before the game. Usually the same kind of song. It's not really anything different. Who's an artist you're into? Ah, uh, Eric Church. He's a country singer. He's pretty good. If I had 10 minutes to plan a date with the woman of my dreams, I would... Oh, I don't know. Um, take her to a fancy restaurant, maybe go to a movie after that. Drive-in movie. And then, uh... Oh, I don't even know. <laughs> it's probably a good spot for it to end there, I guess, eh? I guess that'd be pretty good. <laughs> uh, Conan said that uh, going on the beach, you know, champagne, all that kind of stuff, everyone else has pretty much said, you know, dinner and movie. Is that a lot like Conan's to say something like that? Probably. I mean, from Cali, you have all the opportunity to do that kind of stuff. You <laughs> got to go to the beach all the time and stuff like that. But, I don't know, maybe maybe ice skating would be something more, more uh, appropriate for Saskatchewan weather. Yeah, I guess so. All right. Um, would you rather lose all of your front teeth in a fight or have the words hi, mom, tattooed on your forehead? Lose all my teeth, for sure. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I have no way I would get that tattooed. <laughs> Why not? I don't know. I always kind of wanted to lose a tooth, too, to be honest. It looks, it looks pretty badass if you have it one gone, so I don't know. I'd rather have that for sure. Chicks will dig you like that, I guess. Yeah, maybe. I guess so. As long as I get some fake ones here and there, that'd be good. <laughs> Would you rather have season tickets to the Riders during a great uh, during a year they went 0 and 18, or see the Bombers win the Grey Cup? For sure, the Riders. There's no way I want to see Winnipeg win the Grey Cup. <laughs> it's not a chance. So you probably enjoyed uh, 2007 when they beat the Bombers. Yeah, and even this year when they were in last and they beat the Bombers, that was pretty sweet. <laughs> Did you go to the game? No, I didn't. I don't. Know. 
We don't go to many. They're in uh, usually sold out. It's hard to get tickets and stuff like that. But we usually watch them or listen to them. Do you wear a watermelon when you're watching it on TV? No. <laughs> I. Uh, but when we go, we always dress up because if you don't, you look like pretty pretty dumb if you're the only guy not dressed up because it's pretty much everyone's wearing green. So. Who's better right now, Hunter Shin Carrick or Emerson Edom? Uh, that's tough to say. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can choose that one. Both guys are different. Um, yeah, that's too hard. That's that's too hard of a call to say. <laughs> Probably a safe play. Um, compare yourself to an NHL player. Oh man, probably something like Mike Richards. Maybe I don't know. Kind of a guy that does it all. He tries to do it all, anyways. Like score, hit, fight, do whatever's really necessary. Lead on and off the ice and stuff like that. Which player were you growing up playing street hockey? Oh, well, probably Joe Thornton. He played for the Bruins when I was younger, and I always loved him. I was pretty heartbroken when he got traded, so probably be happy with him. Okay, you're a user of social networking, Facebook, Twitter, I guess? Yeah, I use them both. Is there a guy that uh, you like to follow, enjoy, you know, some pretty trash-talking tweets? Paul Bissonnette's pretty good. I like him. He's funny. Uh, who else is there? I don't know. There's a couple funny ones like Men's Humor and stuff like that. They're pretty good. Hunts, Hunts says I'm supposed to give him a shout-out, so you have to follow at HS9 if you get a chance. His ego's getting pretty big, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> How's the mo going? Uh, not that good. I can't grow the best one. Some guys can grow good ones, like Coxie. I don't know how he does it. He's 16 years old, and he's got the mustache of a 35-year-old. I think it's living with Gerbs. Gerbs can grow a good one, too. Might be getting some gray hair in there soon, but we're not sure. So. <laughs> uh, Bredo said that uh, Coxie's been going his for like six, seven months. Do you believe that? I don't know about that. He couldn't. I can't remember a training camp if he had it. Uh, I think he was clean shaved, but he grows some pretty mean chops and some, some a good mustache. That's Tigers today with uh, Tigers forward Boston Lear. Go Tigers!